Hello, it's this message found you. I hope it's meant for you. I thought I'd come on and do a reading because it's been a few days, so I thought I'd do just to check in to see what's coming towards this collective. So let's see what's happening. Let's see what's coming. I'm using my panda deck. So we'll have the little pandas in here. There we go. Now. It'll be a miracle <laughs> if I don't knock those out of the frame. <laughs> so let's see what's coming towards you or what message you need to hear. I like shuffling on camera. <laughs> it's coming towards the viewer. <clears throat> So we have a tower moment coming. So some kind of, oh, look at that. That's very, ooh, that's very. <laughs> I have reactions to the cards before I explain them. <laughs> there's four cards here. Um, what's coming towards you is there's some kind of cycle coming to an end here. We have the world card. So it could be somebody that you're at a distance with. Um, somebody that you've been through a lot of cycles with though, or some kind of cycle in your life is coming to an end. I do see that possibly this connection hasn't been moving with that Wheel of Fortune, but something's happened. Um, somebody has had a ter tower moment here. A tarot moment. <laughs> Somebody's had a tower moment here. This is fire energy, so Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. We also have Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. We have some Earth, so Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. But yeah, somebody has been experienced a tower moment, which has given them clarity. For some of you, this person, with this Wheel of Fortune, they could have gone through a karmic lesson. Maybe they had a karmic partner. And again, only take that if it resonates. For others of you, it could have been a tower moment in their life. Or the tower moment could have been you sticking up for yourself or voicing your authentic truth. And it's caused this person to have a breakthrough. So what can you tell me about this person? Someone you had an ending with. You probably triggered their ego. And it. <clears throat> this could very well be the tower moment that this person experienced was when you pulled your energy back. And this can signify, symbolize an ego death. So... I do feel like your person has undergone something. With the Ten of Swords, on the bottom of the deck, we do have Judgment. So this person has had an awakening because of this ending or this ego death. They've had some kind of realization that they've made the wrong judgment call here. We also have the Knight of Swords on the bottom, so this person could have acted very impulsively, left the connection impulsively, said, you know, triggering things or said hurtful things. They could have been a player, hot and cold energy, in and out, non-committal. But this person, lots of major arcana cards, so they're going through some type of change here. We've had judgment, we had the tower, we had the world card, we had the wheel of fortune card, and now we have the hermit card. So this is an energy of, you know, with the page of swords and the page of wands. I was thinking of the knight of wands. So the page of wands <clears throat> is actually, can talk about somebody that, or a connection that never had a beginning. It's weird that I was picking up on the knight of wands energy. Um, the Page of Wands can be, it can talk about a new chapter. So with the Judgment card, that does symbolize that this person's had some kind of awakening, which has opened up the energy here for the possibility of a new chapter. And with the Hermit, I do believe they're working on healing whatever caused this, whatever ego death they had to have. That, again, we saw the Knight of Swords energy, so... Could be that they said hurtful things to you. Temperance right under that. Tell me more about this person's intentions with my viewer. 
What are your intentions with my viewer? The emperor. <laughs> they want to take action. You could resonate with twin flames. This is divine masculine energy. Um, this is somebody who wants to protect you and take action. It's a, a leader. This person could be a father already. But they want to... They want to take action. That's what their intentions are, is to take action towards you. How do they see my viewer? How do you feel about my beautiful viewer? I'm in shock. That's the Empress card. Divine counterpart. I'm a little bit in shock. Intentions, Emperor, how they see you, Empress. This is Aries energy. This is Taurus and Libra energy. They see you as the Empress. You could be a mother. They could be a father. You could have kids together. You might not. You could both not have kids. Take it as it resonates. Um, but this is someone that sees you as someone who's very nurturing, very beautiful, this is a divine connection, so nobody compares to you. Nobody's energy compares to you. Nobody's love compares to you. You could have pulled your energy back from this person because the Empress is somebody who doesn't chase, so they could feel like you're sitting back right now. They could be seeing you as, you know, sitting back, taking some space, focusing on yourself, your kids, and it's causing them to want to take action here. What do they want to take action about? They love you. They think you're the Empress. What do they want to take action about? They want to heal this. They want... Interesting, that's in the reverse. Hanged Panda in reverse. This talks about someone coming out of... That's very interesting. Someone coming out of hangman mode. So somebody coming out of a long period of silence, isolation. In this period of silence or separation, this person has been focusing on themselves, doing the inner work, and they want to communicate this to you. Uh, we have a lot of water energy, Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces. This is someone who's having dreams about you. You could be having dreams about them. And they're very nostalgic right now. They want to repair this. We have the Six of Cups. So this is about healing it. It's about it's about repairing it, healing childhood wounds together. Very soulmate twin flame reading here. Again, you could be dreaming about this person. This person could have also made you feel like an option in the past. Um, and they might want to communicate with you that you weren't an option, that you're their choice, that they want you. Um, let's, let's see what else. The magician. This person's trying to manifest you back. And... I get the energy with this card and all those cards about healing. We're going to have to go to another part. That this person feels like they have the right tools to make this work this time. Um, I don't feel like they've let go. Of There's no way this person has let go of your energy. I'm just going to show you what I see here. We have the four of pentacles. So holding on after an ending because we have the death card. So you and this person have continued to... Hold on to each other's energy. Um, this always reminds me of... Each reader has a card that reminds them of Twin Flames. And for me, I get it with the Four of Pentacles because it is an energy of not being able to let go. And, you know, you guys did have this ending here, but you're both feeling the pullback to each other. This is star energy. So this is about wishes coming true keeping hope alive. This person still has hope for this connection. And we have the eight of wands here. So I apologize about my dogs. Um, they want forward movement here. They want, I don't feel like either of you have let go of this connection. Hang on. 
My dogs were completely freaking out. I had to pause it. Um, so yeah, this person wants forward movement. And this is about communication. So I do believe you're going to be hearing from this person. Um, let's... I think this is coming fast. We have... We have the King of Wands here, which is someone very fiery. This is Aries Leo Sagittarius, someone who wants to take action. We have the Three of Wands, which is about forward movement and progression. And we also have Justice, Libra. So there is justice coming to this connection. What is the outcome of this communication? Very interesting. There's, oh... Um, we have the Page of Swords and the Six of Swords, so this person wants to work on this. They want to... This is an energy of almost being a student, so it's like they want to learn about you. Maybe it's been a while since you've been together. Maybe they want to learn about your love languages, or they want to talk about the things they did in the past here. We also have the Six of Swords, which is about letting go of the things from the past that hurt. It's about reconciliation, moving on. It can be about connecting after a disconnect. Again, moving into calmer waters, moving away from the dark times towards the future together. Mm -hmm. Anything else, Spirit? We'll do one last tarot card. The Queen of Cups. Justice. <laughs> the sun! The fool. Any last words I say? The queen of cups. This is someone who makes you feel very loved. This is someone you love very much. And someone who loves you. You know, you're going to feel this when they come in. And we see this butterfly here. I feel like that symbolizes that this person has transformed. We also had justice so the balancing of the scales this person is going to bring you justice when this card appears it means you're going to have justice whatever that means to you so if justice means they come in give you closure and you move on that's your justice if your justice is they come in give you closure and you move forward together that's your justice we have the divine masculine here with the sun which is the happiest card in the deck so, you know, if there was something you were wondering about, a positive outcome, the answer is yes. Um, this also shows that you'll have clarity and we also have a new beginning. A new beginning. So that's all really beautiful energy. So let's get you some Oracle cards. What do you need to know? What do you need to know? You're going to have reason to celebrate. Maybe you see this person at a party. Maybe they approach you at a party. Maybe they message you to go to a party or because it's their birthday or they're celebrating something and they want to share it with you. But this symbolizes good times ahead. Party! We have clarity. You have clarity coming. Patience. Commitment. This person wants commitment. I just had an affirmation pop down that may be relevant to you. It says, I free myself from anxiety. So if you're feeling anxious, say it. I free myself from anxiety. <laughs> but we have commitment. We have proposal, marriage, high, higher level of commitment. That's higher fint energy. Anything else? Lifestyle change. Again, somebody's changed here. Somebody's made some changes. Fire sign. So Leo, Sagittarius, Aries. Rebirth. Aww. There's a lot confirming a rebirth here, which is, you know, beautiful. You could be dealing with an earth sign I'm seeing on the bottom. Earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. So let's get you some more cards. More. We have forward movement, healing, and the next step. See? Forward movement. 
So we do have forward movement. It says forward movement, healing, next step. And on the bottom of the deck, look at what we have staring. Oh, listen. At the bottom of the deck, we have, I know you guys can't see that because it's mirrored. Mirrored. <laughs> Uh, we have compromise and reconcile. So get back together, reconnect, reach out, middle ground, peaceful resolution. And I will say for my divine counterparts out there, there does have to be compromise. Um, there does have to be compromise. It's part of the journey. What else? Codependency, emotionally reliant, addicted, can't let go. So you and this person could have been codependent in the past. When this comes up, I also like to talk about, you know, if this is a one, like a counterpart connection, it's very strong. Energy is very strong. When you guys do reconcile, I always like to tell people, don't, don't fall back into that codependency. Don't forget what you've learned on your journey. Don't give up the things, the hobbies that you've started, all the self-work you've done. Don't fall back into that codependency. And I know when you've been waiting for it for a while, it's easy to become attached again. So it's, you know, a message about remembering yourself. Remember you're number one. We have brown eyes, brown, deep, dark eyes. Could be relevant. Do you want to come out? Past life connection, soul tie, you've met before, past life karma. And it's interesting because the reading started about your person going through some type of karma that uh, woke them up. History, past connection, person from the past, unfinished business. Lots of confirmation here. Trust in the confirmation, okay? If you are, it's very interesting. If you are um, resonating with this, trust in it. Because I know there's a lot of doubt. And doubt will actually, doubt can bring your energy down. We do have signs, synchronicities, repeating numbers, feathers, butterflies. So I feel like the universe keeps sending you signs about this person. Again, that could be a confirmation for you. You can ask spirit to send you a very specific number or sign. If you should move on, if you should, if this person is your counterpart, whatever, you can ask for a sign. I'm going to go to another part. You can ask for a sign. And I remember when a reader told me that and I was like, but would it really work? And it does. The universe talks back. We have protected. Spiritual protection, crystals, 444. So very protected connection here. Again, so many cards about it being confirming the intensity of this connection. Confirming, confirming... You know, them reaching out, communication. Let's get a moon card. Also, Mercury goes into retrograde today. It's like that protected card. You and your loved ones are safe, new moon and cancer. So yes, Mercury went into retrograde today, so that sometimes can cause communication problems. Um, it also can create people from your past to come back. So we have be bold and make the first move. So that's interesting. I don't like to tell people to make the first move or not to contact anyone at all because I believe our higher selves can intuitively guide us. So I want you to take that how it resonates. If you've been looking for a sign to make the first move, we do have be bold and make the first move. For a lot of you, I feel like that's your person's energy. And they are going to be the ones to be bold and make the first move. We saw that with, yeah, the Emperor card. We have luck is on your side, new moon and Sagittarius, and have faith in your dreams. So again, if this is resonating and it's making you, you know, excited and... Lifting your energy, there's a reason. It's because you're meant to hear it. Your energy 
your spirit guides, the universe, whatever you believe in. They don't want you to be suffering and worrying. That's why you get confirmations and you see synchronicities and you see things that remind you of that person. Love. Love. <laughs> Love and openness. This is Divine Feminine. So for some of you, I do feel like this person is coming forward. They love you. They're going to tell you they love you. And they want to be open with you. And this is a message to embody that Queen of Cups energy and to show them compassion. I'm not saying, you know, to put up with bad behavior. That's not what I'm saying. But I am saying that this person is going to try and be open and vulnerable with you. And if you embody Queen of Swords, that may not happen. Spirit saying here to have this divine feminine energy, this Queen of Cups energy with an open heart, open to hearing what they have to say. <clears throat> My throat's close. <clears throat> My throat's closing over. Very interesting. All right. Let's get one more. I'm doing your reading as the sun is setting. It's beautiful outside. We have inner peace. Oh, look, we have the two koi fish. And I do feel like a part of you really misses this person. Maybe you feel a little lost without them. And I want to say that I think they feel the same way about it. I feel like they really miss you. And I do feel like you and this person bring each other a lot of inner peace and fulfill each other. And this is a sign of what's to come. So inner peace. I love that we have the two koi fish there. If they are koi fish, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Clearly I'm not a fish expert. <laughs> I call most fish fishies. <laughs> Look at the fishy. Cornucopia. That's beautiful. That's talking about your seeing all your efforts rewarded, all the no contact, all the separation, all the waiting, all the wondering, all the overthinking, all the mmm. <laughs> this is beautiful and this is very twin flamey. It's 11. Like your two souls had to align and transform be before this could be delivered on this golden platter. <laughs> Soul contract on the bottom. Ooh, we have financial constraints in the reverse. So that reminds me of the Four of Pentacles. So this person could have been going through some tower, mo tower moments in their financial world, as that does happen with some of these connections and the karma and the universe. The universe starts taking things away to wake you up. I speak from experience. I had it happen to me, and it was, it was hard. But we see this is turning around for this person, so that could be why they're opening up here. Again, it equals four. It reminds me of the Four of Pentacles, that energy of holding back. And we see that door opening there. So the door to this connection is opening again. Let's see one more. Woman holding a coin. This is very Empress energy, very much Empress energy. You could have leveled up through this. They're looking at you a little bit intimidated. Temple path, destined connection. This is a destined connection and both of you are being guided to each other. Both of you have healed from this. Both of you have made it through cycles. I hear my son downstairs. He's just like, blah, 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 blah. he's singing. <laughs> anyway, um, yeah, this person has been guided back to you. Very interesting. We also have rest and rejuvenation. So I do believe this person needed some time and space and some time experiencing life without you to wake up, to wake the mm up. <laughs> mm, let's get some heart cards. <laughs> ah. That's too many. <laughs> 
trust, transformation occurs through acceptance. See, this is what I'm talking about. I'm telling you, if you're resonating with this, if it makes you feel happy, if it makes you feel good, trust in that feeling because it's raising your vibrations and it causes transformations. I'm telling you, I'm telling you. <laughs> I'm telling you. <laughs> transformation occurs through acceptance. Once you accept the current situation, it will automatically transform. They're not lying. Uh, though we may be physically apart, spiritually we are always united. For love transcends space and time. Nothing is missing. Very twin flamey. Transformation. Your relationship with another is about to deepen. Love conquers and transforms all things. Mm -hmm. <laughs> love can save the world. I know that. Anyway. <laughs> I believe it. Beware of what you are projecting for the qualities you admire in one another are qualities you both possess. Equally so, the qualities you don't like are also your own reflection. So lots about mirroring here. Secret admirer, someone has deeper feelings for you than they're letting on. Mm -hmm. Criticizing one another will only lead to further unhappiness. Love and accept each other as you are and your relationship will magically transform. Let's get a couple more. I'm just debating whether or not I want to tell my son to be a little bit quieter. Oh. Emotions are a natural and necessary part of life, but they can also distort your perception and cloud your vision. In order to see things clearly, you must let go of resentment. And part of being an empress is letting go of resentment. It's one of the hardest parts of the journey. Sacred union. Honor and treasure your relationship for it is truly sacred. And healing, we have healing. Imagine yourself and your beloved surrounded by light. Feel your relationship being healed at the... All right, last part. Charms and letters. I'm sorry if they're loud. We have Q, I, K, N, X, P, Q, P, Z, Y, O, R, Roy could be important. Bob could be important. We have B, B, so Bob, B, B, L, X, D, Y, C, W, G, T, I, H, G, 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 Z, J, J, <laughs> J, J, <laughs> J, J follows me, G, N, X. JJ and GG. Sorry if that's noisy. All right, let's put those away and get turned. Do we want a couple more? I think I want a couple more. Ah. So this one tried to fall in my lap, which is about death and rebirth. It's a skull. We have a cat, so a cat could be symbolic. We have a hot air balloon, so um, chariot energy. We have a key. We have a little mouse, could be relevant. We have the soul connection twin flame hearts. I love when that represents union to me. We have one, two, three, four keys. We have a bunny. So bunnies could be important. White rabbits. I'm hearing uh, Alice in Wonderland, divine timing. I'm late. I'm late for a very important date. Food. <laughs> fork. <laughs> That's not food. It's a fork. Yoga could be important. We have the twin flame swans. Soulmates. Twin flames. I need to hurry up. We have Aries energy. Aries energy. Child uh, building a foundation. We have a sand castle. We have an elephant, a scallop, a fish, a fishy, <laughs> a seahorsey, a real horsey, not a real horse, but a horsey horsey. <laughs> Chariot energy. You're the horse, I'm hearing. Bicycle. Somebody could be a cyclist. We have a koi fish, like in the, in the reading. And we have a paw print. So I'm going to leave it there and I'm sending you lots of love and light.
Bye.